Everybody, what's going on? Just back with another video. It's from uh, Brian Lilly. It's called Liberals Devaluing Canadian Citizenship. So let's have a look and then we'll talk about it after like usual. Trudeau Liberals are devaluing Canadian citizenship. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly from the Liberal Columnist for the Toronto Sun. Last week it was an announcement by Trudeau's Immigration Minister, Mark Miller, that we were going to start extending citizenship to the second generation born outside of Canada, to Canadian. So meaning someone's born in Canada, they have a kid abroad, then that person has a kid abroad, they can still get Canadian citizenship. That's not the way it has been in Canada. It's not the way that it is in Britain and Italy and France, at least not by automatic nature. There are circumstances, same with the United States, but we've decided to do this. Now, the Trudeau Liberal said we had no choice. It was something forced upon us by the courts. And yet, right in their own news release, they said that they made this decision or didn't appeal the court decision because they agreed with it. They think this is a good thing. Personally, I think it devalues citizenship. And I say this as someone who could claim another citizenship. My parents were born in the United Kingdom. I can claim that if I wanted to. I haven't, and I don't plan on it. My kids, though, they can't claim that citizenship because it doesn't pass on for two generations, not automatically. This is a big departure for Canada, and I we have to make the choice at some point, at some point to cut it off. And if the courts have ruled that it's arbitrary and unconstitutional at one, what means it won't they won't say the same at two? All of this just waters down what it means to be Canadian. But now there's a Yeah, and you know, that's the thing, right? Like they're just letting in so many people and they don't have the infrastructure for it anyway. And then to so we'll give them citizenship. And I saw some other minister, I can't remember her name, but she came on and she was talking about, oh, you know, we need to give all these people immediate citizenship. And it's like, we've let in so many people. There's, there's no room. Like there's people already homeless. If you have homeless people, you don't have room for more, right? Like you have to take care of the people who are here first. Then once you've got that taken care of, you can bring in some more people if you want to. But the, and then the liberals just lying again, saying, well, there's nothing we can do about it. They could have appealed and they didn't. Why? Because they didn't want to, because they agree with it. This is something that they want. They're just, like usual, deflecting and blaming someone else for doing so. Remember, guys, it's never Justin Trudeau's fault. It's always a, the court or a global issue or the, the pandemic, which is a ridiculous excuse considering what he did during the pandemic. But you, you know what I mean? Like, it's never his fault. He's admitted on camera, yeah, after eight years of this, life sucks. Not my fault. It's because of Stephen Harper and Pierre Polyev. Pierre Polyev was the housing minister when rent was at a pretty good price. It's doubled from what it, what it was since Pierre Polyev. So what are you talking about, dude? Just more liberal deflecting. It's bullshit. According to the Globe and Mail, a story that the government has not denied, they are putting forward plans to offer citizenship to people in the country illegally. We're not talking just the, what is it, estimated half a million people who have been here for years. We're talking also about recent foreign students who have overstayed their visa. We are talking about uh, tourists who have overstayed their visa. We're talking about people that snuck into the country, and we know that's been happening. Failed refugee claimants. We we know that there are some countries where the vast majority of asylum seekers, including many recent ones, are rejected. Why? Because they're not asylum seekers. They're economic immigrants trying to skip the line. The Trudeau government is going to reward them by finding a way to make themselves citizens. Uh, this is the importation of the last of the big American culture war issues into Canadian politics, mixing up legal and illegal immigration. And you just know that Justin Trudeau once he releases this policy, he's going to claim that anyone opposed to it is a bigot, a bigot, a racist, a mm -hmm. anti-immigrant. This is going to become another wedge issue for the liberals. And I think that is why it's being done. That means future votes down the road for the liberals. Let me know what you think, Trump. Yeah, not just future votes in terms of trying to flip people over who are more pro-immigration, but also if he's going to just make them citizens and let them vote, who do you think they're going to vote for? Probably the guy who let them in, right? That's kind of interesting, which, and again, you know, for the for the argument argument that 
Oh, well, you if you if you if you don't let as many immigration or immigrants in as possible, you're racist and you're anti-immigrant. It's bullshit because you haven't done it properly. If you wanted all these people in here, you better have houses for them to stay. There better be a booming economy for people to not only have these houses, but afford to maintain them and purchase them. That would be really hard to do with these prices, right? Um, <laughs> But I think Brian Lilly is absolutely right. You know, like he's just using this to drive a wedge, divide people, and hope that some of these people will slide back to the liberals. It could happen. But you also got the people who are citizens who are going to vote for him who they who they let in because they let them in. Why well, wouldn't be here without Trudeau? So Trudeau. How many votes is that going to be? How many votes is he going to get there? I, I don't know. Now, there's also a lot of people who are going to come here and say, oh, I'm here and I'm happy, but this guy's kind of ruined the country, so maybe I'll vote for the other guy. Maybe. But if he does drive a wedge and a lot of people move back over to the Liberal Party, I mean, Canada's fucked if they win again. Like, absolutely, utterly, no way around it, we are fucked if he stays in as a Prime Minister. Everyone who has half a brain should think about leaving this country if he wins again. Because he's going to ruin this place. Not just with immigration. And again, I am not anti-immigration. I'm just saying you got to control it. Like every other policy, it has to be controlled. You have to make sure that you know what you're doing and that you can, you know, do math. What I'm suggesting is not racist or anti-immigrant. I'm not saying it's an immigrant problem. It's a math problem. We don't have infrastructure to hold more people. We don't have the infrastructure for the people who are here now. It makes no sense. But you know what? Why don't you guys do me a favor? Let me know what you think in the comment section. I always love reading your comments. Um, thank you also for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really, really helps grow this channel. Uh, we're getting there. We're going past 1,000. So I do appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, thanks so much again for watching, and I hope you have a great day.